Go to BigManComics.com for the best in action, adventure, entertainment. Hey guys, Gabe LT here with another expert opinion. Why am I an expert? I don't know, 25 years as an award-winning writer, colorist, and illustrator for all the big companies. Superman, Batman, Star Wars, Wonder Woman. If you've heard of it, I have worked on it. So there's a lot of opinions out there. Most of them are not experts, so you're welcome. Jeff Bezos thinks the shills in the media suck, and I agree with him a thousand percent. It's nice to see what Elon has done for free speech. I love trolling people on X on Twitter when they say, Elon Musk is an idiot. And then I always just like post a picture of a rocket or I'll just ask them, hey, how many rockets have, has your company launched this week? And then they break down and say his father was rich and blah, blah, blah. And it's just funny. Remember, SJWs, DEI proponents, leftists, losers hate winners. It's all about resentment and envy. So why am I saying Jeff Bezos thinks Dragon Egg shills, Dragon Egg? That's not what it is, Gabe. Dragon Age shills suck. So if you don't know, today on uh, social media, a lot of grades have come out for Dragon Age, and there was an embargo for reviewers. If you don't have a good review, then don't post it until such and such date. Uh, and uh, the, of course, all the reviews are glowing because the lockstep left-wing media bubble does not dare upset anyone. But this game is a piece of crap, and everybody knows it. And it's starting to come out. There was one girl, I forget, she was Spanish-speaking. I don't know what country she was in. She uh, told them she was non-binary, and I believe her. She says she is, and they sent her a review copy. She's posting her review, and she hates this game. She absolutely eviscerated it. She said it is terrible. Absolutely terrible. So that's hilarious to me. Um, she's got it early and she's been exposing it. But all these grades, they uh, look at this from, I believe this is from IGN. Um, they say, uh, enjoyable action combat, a fantastic cast of allies with sweeping story arcs, all their own top-notch cinematics and moving nuanced character writing are, are the wings on which the triumphant dragon soars. If we never get another Dragon Age or... At least it got to go out. Um, at least it got to go out on a high note. They give it a nine out of ten. So this is shill writing. They won't, don't want to be mean to the LGB people and all that. And nobody does. I don't. But again, nobody likes forced diversity. People like real art that is executed with expertise and care for story and character and truth and beauty. All the great things that all great fiction has. We don't want the woke crap. And we're voting with our wallets. So this is show media stuff here. Um, you have over on Metacritic uh, or Metascore, it's 84. And there's all these glowing grades everywhere. But when the rubber meets the road, all kinds of reviewers all over social media, on YouTube, on Twitter, everywhere, people who are not even controversial or right-wing chuds or anything like that, they're like, no, this game sucks. The frame rate sucks. The, gra you know, the graphics suck. The dialogue is cringe-inducing. You have people sitting around a table in a fantasy world of dragons and magic and knights and all these bizarre races of monster people. This lady is saying, non-binary, I just said, and I'm going to use they instead of she from now on. What does that have to do with slaying orcs and monsters and dragons and gold and saving princesses? What are you doing? Nobody likes this stuff. But I'll get to my point about Jeff Bezos. Also, we don't, we don't, have to, we don't forget Mule Man. I call this guy Mule Man. I know he's not a half human, half mule, but the instant I saw him, that's all I thought, and I cannot explain why. He's Mule Man, and he will forever be Mule Man. Here's a, a little example for you guys. Uh, There's an older person in the game before Wokeness took over, before DEI, and let me move out of the way. Oh, wrong way, Gabe. After DEI. So no longer, uh, no longer badass and monstrous and awesome and fun to play and play with. Uh, now we all gotta be cutie pies. This is like if you were playing with your Transformers or G.I. Joes back, and when you were a little kid in the 80s and your sister came in and she wanted to put lipstick and dresses on He-Man. And then He-Man and Skeletor and all the buddies could sit around and have like a little tea party instead of beating each other's asses for control of uh, Castle Grayskull. It's horrible. But what does this have to do with Jeff Bezos? Why does he hate the Dragon Age shills? Well, I'll tell you why. Because he's the owner. Not only is the magnificent billionaire, uh, and I like Jeff Bezos. A lot of people hate him, but I like the guy. And he did the funniest shit last week, by the way, to The Atlantic. His wife owns The Atlantic. The Atlantic wrote, wrote the fake news against Donald Trump. And then a few days later, The Washington Post came out and didn't endorse a presidential candidate for the first time in forever. So he got back at his uh, ex-wife, ex-wife, who owns The Atlantic, that liberal rag. He got back at her by not supporting Kamala, not allowing the editorial board of his paper to support Kamala. And he wrote an op-ed piece in his own paper, The Washington Post Today, Opinion. 
the hard truth. Americans don't trust the news media. This applies directly to Alyssa Mercante and Kotaku and all the people that were that failed thing, G4 and IGN, because these places have been taken over by crazy ideologue, left-wing, far-leftist, intolerant bigots who want to, frankly, get rid of everyone to the, uh, to the right of Mao Tse-sung. You know it and I know it. If you speak up in the entertainment industry, ask my buddy Matthew Marsden. Look at what's going on with Zachary Levi. Look at how I had to leave DC Comics when I said, you know what? No, I'm a Trump guy and this and that. So you can't speak up because these news orgs are overrun and it's, it's time. You see people wearing MAGA hats in Manhattan and being praised. I saw a kid talking to Ben Shapiro today wearing a MAGA hat at Columbia University walking around campus. I've got my MAGA hat and it's like, no more. And I've, I've been out for years. You guys all know that. And no more. Tell these people to F off. Always follow the law. Don't do anything illegal to them. But these bullies, these cry bully leftist weirdo bigots, no. F off forever. We're tired of it and we're pulling, we're ripping wokeness out of our culture by the roots. Bezos says, and I just clipped a little bit of his uh, op-ed here, but it's great. He says, um, in the annual public surveys about trust and reputation, journalists... Kotaku, IGN, and the media have regularly fallen near the bottom, often just above Congress. And boy, that is a low, that is a subterranean bar, guys. But in this year's Gallup poll, we have managed to fall below Congress. He's talking about the media. Our profession is now the least trusted of all. Guys, we all know it's fake news, you leftists. We all know. You're pissing in my boot and telling me it's raining. We know. You're liars. You're shills. And uh, something we are doing is clearly not working. While I do not, while I do not and will not push my personal interests, I will also not allow this paper to stay on autopilot and fade into irrelevance. And that's what's happening with Concord, right? That's what's happening with Dustborn. That's what's happening with Marvel and DC and Disney Plus. They're fading into irrelevance. Joe Rogan interviewed Trump. He has, you know, 35 million views with the video shadow banned on YouTube. Still has like insane views because the mainstream media doesn't like it. The mainstream media, you're done, you're toast. It's now social media, it's now independent podcasts, it's now voices like mine. Guys, by the way, hit the like, hit the subscription, support me so I can keep telling the truth with my expert opinion. You gotta support me, we're having a lot of fun here. He says, uh, overtaken by unresearched podcasts and social media, Barb, say, how dare you? My stuff isn't unresearched. Uh, not without a fight. It's too important. The stakes are too high. Now more than ever, the word, world needs a credible, trusted, independent voice. And where better for that voice to originate than the capital city of the most important country in the world? Amen. And I do agree. I think we should have news. I believe in the big media, New York Post, LA Times. But they've got to be neutral. They've got to be who, what, when, where, why, and how, and no effing agenda, left-wing or right-wing or anything else. Just the facts, ma'am. That's it. Just the facts, you know. Um, to win this fight, we will have to exercise new muscles. Some changes will be a return to the past and some will be new inventions. Criticism will be part and parcel of anything new, of course. This is the way of the world. None of this will be easy, but it will be worth it. You see that? He's a big thinker. That's why he's done what he's done with his life. I'm so grateful to be part of this endeavor. Many of the finest journalists you'll find anywhere work at the Washington Post and blah, blah, blah. And he goes on. It's a great article. It's a great opinion piece. You should find it easily on Twitter. Just search Bezos Washington Post today on Twitter tomorrow and uh, read this. And he talks about it. And he's going to hire more conservative writers. Obviously, college is overrun with leftists. So there's so many more leftist writers. But we got to balance this out. We got to balance it out because these leftists, they're rabid zealots and they are destroying everything everything. It's like termites in the wood, just eating, just eating and eating and eating the building and the building's going to collapse. They are going to destroy Western civilization. You think I'm kidding. You think I'm kidding, but I'm right because politics is downstream from culture and media is culture. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade and the Washington Post are the same thing. They're media. It's not, you know, you know what they call the things in the newspaper, right? They're called stories. The comic books I write are stories. Story is the most important and potent form of persuasion. So I love that someone like Elon Musk put his money where his mouth is and bought Twitter, turned it in X, and now it's a bastion of free speech. And I love what Jeff Bezos is doing here. He's saying no more. This is important. I think these guys have gotten so wealthy and done so much with their life. All the baubles and trinkets of luxury and fancy cars and women and food and yachts, I, I think it just becomes meaningless. How could it not? It's nice 
but there's no meaning in that. And these are older guys, right? Bezos is probably close to his 70s or something, and Musk is in, he's much younger. He's like, you know, early, mid-50s. But I think with that kind of wealth, and if they have any brains, they're like, oh, I need to do something that really matters on any on an emotional level, on a moral level. And these guys, they want to preserve free speech. Good, bad, ugly, indifferent, whatever. I think it is to be applauded. Um, so I'm here clapping alone in my office. So yes, Jeff Bezos thinks Dragon Age shills, shills suck. I think shills suck. You guys think shills suck. Vote for, vote for your culture, for your family, for your future. At the ballot box, for sure, for Trump and Republicans down ballot if you live in the USA. And vote with your wallet for your future and your family and all that against this evil, disgusting, woke entertainment. Get this shit out of here. Tear it out culturally, metaphorically, tear it out by the roots. And we do that by denying them any money. Do not buy this stuff. Do not buy it. Do not buy it. Do not buy it. Go and buy my stuff at bigmancomics.com. I don't make woke crap. I make amazing action adventure like Dean Cain, All-American Law Lawman, like Tyrus the Unstoppable, like Jericho Green and the Hammerheads, like Empyrean Earth Illuminated. Guys, hit the like. Hit the share. Make sure you're subscribed. Follow me on X. I'm Big Man Comics. Make sure you, you follow me everywhere else. Don't literally follow me. Um, follow me on social media. My, it's Gabe LT. You see to spell it right there. And I will talk to you guys later with another expert opinion. Thank you for watching. Make sure to follow us on social media and go to bigmancomics.com.